Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Burton. Today is April 22nd. Happy Earth Day! Today is Earth Day, so make sure that you go out and just appreciate what Earth gives us every single day. I have posted a, well, I will post a video for science today where we discuss or where we talk about Earth Day, where we read a story that centers around what the possibility of the future for Earth, if you choose to take in good habits or if you choose to continue bad habits. So check out that video that is posted on Class Dojo. And then there's a small activity for you all to do at home. And we would like for you all to send in a picture of your poster that you're going to make for Earth Day and I would love to actually see it where you post it outside on your window. I'm going to post a picture as well of where I have hung my posters so that you can show people who are driving by, by your house. You can educate people as they're driving about Earth Day so just be sure to do that and send in a picture. We would love to see that. For your poster we ask that you all do a problem that you've seen in the book so whether it be Walter not throwing away his trash and throwing it onto the ground, whether it be him not sorting through his trash in order to recycle, or if you think the um, so many factories putting off so many different chemicals into the air. And then with that problem, we would like for you all to draw a solution. So a problem, draw it, write about it, tell people what it is in your image that you have drawn, and then... For your solution, we want to show you how you think you could change that problem to make it better. Okay, so we want to see a solution. We want to see how you think you could correct that problem. Okay, sound good? You all can message. Let me turn that down. You guys can message Miss Teeger or myself anytime and we will try to help you all the best that we can, okay? So for today, for our daily check-in, I first, I will show you this. Today is April 22nd, 2020, which I've already told you. And our word for today is pledge, which I think is actually very fitting because you could make a pledge to help the earth. And we actually make a pledge just about every day when we go to school. Now, when you think about that, it was in the mornings. We have to stand up. We put our hand on our chest near our heart. What is that called? The Pledge of Allegiance, if that's what you thought, you would be correct. And a pledge is something that you, it's a promise, and you do that to promise something that is very serious. So every day when we were at school, we would say the Pledge of Allegiance. And that's us just saying we are going to promise to be good citizens in the United States of America. So for today, you can make a pledge for Earth Day. In the science video that I posted, I tell you all about the pledge that I'm going to make for Earth Day this year. So go and check that out, and then you guys can send us your pledges as well as your posters that you're going to make for Earth Day. Okay? Sound good? All right, so we went over word of the day, which is pledge. Great job. Put that into the floor <laughs> to get it out of my way. And now we will move on to math for today. For math, your number is 699. 699. So go ahead and get out a sheet of paper for that. You can pause me. You can do what you need to do. But for 699, the first thing I want you guys to do is show me an expanded form. So show me expanded form for 699. Look at your place value. What is the 6 going to represent? What does the 9 represent? What does this 9 represent? Okay, and then write this here. All right. You're going to add 100 for your second prompt. Add 100 to the 600 for that place value. So add 100 to 699. Next, to continue for math, 699 is still your number. And this time we want you to add 10. So you're going to add 10 to 699. And I want you to show me using your base 10s. So using pictures, show me what 699 plus 10 will look like. Okay? And then after you've done that with base 10s, just write out in number form what 699 plus 1 is. That 
that in the floor. That's okay. Okay, next I will move on to your coins and I will show you all the answers for that for morning work. We hope that you all tuned in to Zoom meeting this morning so that you guys can actually get that um, the answers live with all of us together. But please send in your work so that we can see it, so that we can check your math, okay? So for coins, I'm just going to do a very small review over the coins that you all learned yesterday. And then I'll introduce the other coin that we still didn't get to yesterday. All right, so. Oh gosh, so much stuff on my floor. That's fine. Okay, so for... Yesterday, you all learned about the penny, you learned about the nickel, and then you also learned about the dime. Just a very short review, a penny is worth one cent. One cent. It's small in size. It's made out of copper. I have a penny right here. That is your penny. It's made out of copper. It's worth one cent, and the president that is on our penny is Abraham Lincoln. So here he is. I will post a picture of this to Dojo so that you guys can see it close up. But one cent. Nickel. Nickels are worth five cents. They are medium in size. They're made out of silver. And Thomas Jefferson is on the nickel. And the thing about the nickel, too, is that there's actually two different faces that you will see. They're always of Thomas Jefferson, but they've changed the looks of the nickels over time. And this is the most recent face. So those are worth five cents. Then a dime. Let's move that. There we go. So a dime is worth ten cents. It's made out of silver, just like the nickel. It's the smallest coin in size. So a dime is smaller than a penny, but it's worth more. It's worth 10 cents. And Franklin D. Roosevelt is on the dime. So I drew a picture of what the heads look like and what the tails look like. But this is worth 10 cents. And then the coin that I'm going to introduce today. Oh, let me just push that stuff back. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I have so much stuff on my floor that it's hard to maneuver. That's okay. I ran out of space on my desk. Okay, back to coins. I apologize for that. A quarter is worth 25 cents. It is the largest in size out of these four coins. It's made out of silver. The president that we see on our quarter is George Washington. And here is a quarter. This is what a lot of people like to use because it's worth the most. And then the cool thing about the quarters is that the backs are always changing. They have different states on them with different um, important places, important animals, important people sometimes even on the back of quarters. And they all represent a different year. Like for this one, it's North Carolina, 2001, first flight. That's pretty cool. So it's a little bit of history it tells you about it in a quarter. And from the visual that I drew for your quarter, it's not the best, but if they do not have a state, a significant state on the back of a quarter, normally you'll see the bald eagle, which is our nation's animal. And then they have an olive branch underneath. And an olive branch, the way that I've always seen it, is for peace. So the eagle is for freedom, he's flying free, but there's always peace in the back of our minds as well. All right, so, oh, there it is. Okay, so what I need you all to do is to get out a sheet of paper. So go ahead, you can write it on the other sheet as well. I would like to see your work. And draw eight coins, okay? Eight coins. So on those eight coins, I'm going to hold up a coin, and I want you to write the first letter that it begins with. So we shall begin. This is a quarter. So I will write Q. 
Huford Porter. This is a dime. This is your third coin. This is your fourth coin. This is a nickel. This is your fifth coin. And what is this? This is your last coin. All right. So now that I have all of my coins labeled on my sheet of paper, I'm going to show you a way that you guys can easily count these. So I want you to first draw a square around your pennies. Draw a square around your pennies. Look something like that, okay? Next, you're gonna draw dots around your quarter. Five dots to be exact. And what we're doing is we're setting up a way so that we can count by fives using our coins. Just like that. So we'd go five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And how much is a quarter worth? 25 cents. So that's just an easier way to count by fives for a quarter, okay? And it helps you remember that a quarter is worth 25 cents. So for your dime, you're going to put two dots, I believe is what you do. Yes, two dots. One, two. See them right here? One, two. We're going to count by fives. Five, ten. And how much is a dime worth? 10 cents. So I'm going to do that for my dimes. All right, so then I'm going to move to the nickel. And a nickel, what you're going to do is just put a dot right in the center of it. So I'll do that for both of my coins, just to quickly show you. Okay. And now our pennies are already ready. They have boxes around this. And this is just a great way to count by fives. And it helps you remember what each coin is worth while you're trying to find the total value of your coins that you have. So I'm going to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, the penny is worth one, so we don't count by fives. 65, 66, 67. 67 cents is your total. All right, so when we write that, we're gonna write 67 and then put our cent sign. And that's your total in coins. Okay. So that is all for coins. I hope that you all enjoyed that. And you also learn how to do it in a different way. I think that's a great way. They call it touch math. And I think that that's a wonderful way to remember how much each coin is worth. It's an easier way to count by fives. Very cool. I really like it. Miss Teeger just showed it to me and I think that's awesome. All right, so here's your work for Wednesday. You need to finish your packet. 15 minutes of Lexia. 15 minutes on iReady, and then we need you to read one book, either on AR or on Raz Kids, okay? And then be sure to check out that Earth Day lesson so that you guys can read that story and make some cool signs to educate your neighbors as they drive 
buy your house. Bye. Have a good day.